In this ESL for math video, we're going to talk about expressing exponents. An exponent is the number of times that a number can be multiplied by itself. And exponents are written with a raised number, which is also known as a superscript, indicating how many times that number um, will be multiplied by itself. We have a couple of words that we use when exponents are um, multiplied by themselves twice, and that English word is squared. And so in this case, uh, we would express 3 with the exponent of 2 as 3 squared. When an exponent is multiplied uh, by itself three times, and the exponent is 3, we express that as cubed, pronunciation cubed. So this, this number is expressed as 3 cubed. The exponent 5 to the power of 6, again, means 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, da, 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 6 times. And we can express this in two ways. We can express the exponent as 5 to the power of 6, or we can express it as 5 to the 6th power. In a previous video, I discussed the difference between a cardinal number and an ordinal number. In this case, the 5 is a cardinal number, and 6 is an ordinal number with the th after it. So we're going to practice a few here. Um, excuse me. We're going to practice a few different numbers in in this chart. And we're going to start with numbers that are squared. And so here uh, we can see this number 5 with the exponent of 2 is expressed as 5 squared. 3 with the exponent of 2 is expressed as 3 squared. And the following numbers are expressed in these ways. 7 squared, 9 squared, 14 squared, 28 squared, and 76 squared. In, these, in this column, we're going to focus on numbers that are cubed, such as 7 cubed and 2 cubed. Continue on here. We can express this as 5 cubed, 8 cubed, 13 cubed, and so on. To express other exponents, we really have two different phrases that we use in English. And in the first one, you can use a cardinal number and then the phrase to the power of and another cardinal number. And so in this case, we would say 12 to the power of 4 or 4 to the power of 5. And so this phrase to the power of is repeated over and over just using the numbers. In most cases, this is probably uh, the easiest way to remember how to express exponents unless they are squared or cubed, and most likely the, the uh, most common way to do it. So here I can say 3 to the power of 6, 7 to the power of 7, 23 to the power of 5, and 56 to the power of 9, and so on. Another way to express exponents is to use a cardinal number and say to the, and then include the ordinal number and power. So here I have seven with the exponent of five, and I can express this as seven to the fifth power. And so I have a cardinal number, seven, and an ordinal number, fifth. So cardinal number, ordinal number. Here I can say the cardinal number 5 
to the sixth power or 25 to the tenth power 48 to the ninth power 72 to the fourth power 91 to the seventh power and 100 to the fourth power. 